All right, how you, do? you guys doing here? Hero of None here? Yay! Meow, meow, meow. If you don't know me, I am a streamer. A uh, person who's been streaming since about beta. Um, player of MMOs far and wide. Uh, I'd like to talk to you tonight basically on cheating and exploiting, hacking, etc. And some of the stuff that's been said over the previous weeks. Okay. Now, let's just have a, a brief look at what Cyrodiil has been since beta till now and some of the different things here. Um, we started off in beta way back when. AD and AP had a lot of players coming into it. You had... AD had a, a lot of people coming in because, you know, famous streamers were all on AD. A lot of people flocked to it. You know, then the whole bust came with, like, you know, Angry Joe reviews and all this other bullshit like that. And everyone, like, dropped the game from there. Um, AD still had a lot of players from that. EP still had a, a bunch of players from that. DC was always kind of the underdog. As the people moved out, AD reigned strong. EP kind of... Lost a good lion's share of the people. And DC, of course, still remained the under underdog. And as a result, a lot of DC and EP players got very good at the game. Okay? And AD kind of zerged a bit. Right? And they had the people in there. Now, over time, as people started to get back into PvP, started seeing how much greater it was, EP took on a lot more players. So you had a lot of new players coming in, not really knowing what was going on. And creating like you know a hodgepodge between like bad players good players etc so you have a zergy mentality but you had a couple of good people inside of it ad got really good basically doing its own little solo stuff with some group stuff as well but when the major groups from those guilds left a lot of people in ad kind of just switched to soloing and all that stuff and you didn't see a whole lot more coming into the game uh from that after that point in time DC, of course, were still good, and they kind of banded together. They made their own groups, and they, they were actually a good group. But remember, they're still the underdogs throughout all this. As time went along, it, it seems like we got some poison inside some of these factions. And, and the reason that I, I bring up the past in this is because the standing flow of things and how they affect today is that DC got poisoned pretty good with certain players there. The players that would do exploits and cheating of all sorts. And I, I can think of several particular events, um, things like spies going into the other side there. Specifically, going into enemy keeps, okay, breaking down the walls, getting their scroll back, dropping it, letting a person from the other, uh, from the actual AD faction go in, grab it for them, and then run it all the way back to their keep. Well, AD can do nothing to stop the person because they're their own faction. A lot of us complained about it during the forums, you know, had a whole bunch of posts up there, and then Zoss came up and stifled it right there and there. That kind of, that kind of charged me on some of it, where it, 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 it became apparent that there is... The PvP that I like, I do, you know, I do with friends. We have a, a good time in there. And then there's the toxic side of PvP, the salty side of PvP. That is just getting a little bit too rampant at this time. And it's certain players. I'm sorry. It is certain players that are bringing this apart. Um, I'm not going to name in shame because I would like to post, post this onto the forums there. But I do point out certain factions here because AD does it some of the times. EP does it some of the times. But... DC in particular, I'm calling you out because you've had a history of this and it seems to keep on coming back. Uh, recently, uh, with this, we had em uh, we had an emperor, a DC emperor, inside of Azurus. And a healer friend with him as well. And when the gap closer ca issue came up, people started saying, What the hell are you doing? We have people coming in. Y you have a person that's at the top of the leaderboard here top of your AP board going in and using something that's an obvious exploit to get into the keep. Obvious exploit. And we're just going to let this happen? I mean, it's obviously something that's broken. Zoss does need to fix it, but we're, we're just allowing somebody that has that much AP to freaking blatantly abuse something like that? Now, yes, things break inside of games all the goddamn time and they should fix them, but... It comes back to something else entirely, okay? It comes back to sportsmanship. 
all right? In a game that's competitive like this, you're going to have jeering, you're going to have jarring, you have people that are going to say, haha, I killed you, and then, you know, teabag the corpse, okay? That is something that happens. But, honestly, if you're going against other people, you should have at least some respect for your enemy to not just do stupid fucking shit that is obviously broken, okay? It's, it's not fucking rocket science to say, oh, well... It's broken and Zoss isn't fixing it, so I should be able to use it. I mean, you can use the same fucking excuse for Cheat Engine, for crying out loud, and say, well, they allowed Cheat Engine to work, so why can't I just go ahead and use it? Well, of course they're not, they don't want it to work, they just have to get it freaking programmed to get it fixed. The same with anything that's exploited. They need it reported, they need to work on the fixes, and then they gotta deploy it, okay? Now, I'm not saying Zoss is totally without issue here. I mean, they do got to fix their goddamn game at times. But, I mean, for crying out loud, if you know something's broken, don't freaking do it. Don't exploit. It's that simple. I don't know why I have to keep on saying this. I don't know why I have to go to the forums there and deal with these people that are like, well, you shouldn't go and ban us for something that you broke and you don't have fixed. It's freaking... Don't do something that's an exploit. It's, it's that simple. If you figure out a way to break something, okay... Go ahead and demonstrate it once, okay, report it, and then let them fix it, for crying out loud. Now, I'm sure that when they had this on the PTS and it was reported, okay, this I, I'm not discrediting that, Zoss took a look back and they said, well, look, let's see, we have 100,000 people complaining that gap closures aren't working for us. We have a couple of people that realize that if, uh, with our current fix... We're going to have people able to leap into areas that we're not expecting to. So, we can either affect a dozen people and just tell them, Hey guys, can you stop doing this? Make sure it's on the down low. And make those 100,000 people happy while we, in the meantime, work on a fix in the background. Or, we can leave it broken as is and then tell them, Next update, we're going to get it fixed. I don't know. It's up to you where you want a management to do that to fix shit. But you know, either affecting a hundred thousand people and only a handful of people doing it, uh, versus you know not fixing it and just wipe you know making it shit for everyone. That's a hard decision, I think. Um, but you know, you might say, well, why don't they just fix it? Well, probably because they went ahead and to change something like. If you ever do coding, you know that when you do this shit, it's a stack of cards here, okay? You move one card out, it shifts, it affects everything else, okay? Now, again, I'm not trying to defend Zoss on their coding exploits or, you know, how they change to do the policy, but just saying that I can kind of understand where they're coming from. Regardless of what Zoss does, though, okay, if something is broken, if something is exploitable, don't freaking use it. It's the same as using a cheat engine, okay? Now, I, I will be the first to admit, I mean, I'm in a dungeon right now, and I run dungeons a lot, and I guarantee everyone else has done, like, other exploits. A good example is here, right in Right Gold Tower, for a long time, people were doing the, you know, doing the last boss in this, taking shards, casting them in the middle, and then casting, you know, just synergizing it, and boop, the lightning wall goes away in the last fight of this, right? That's what a lot of us have done. It, it, it It's something I just like doing. I try to make sure other people didn't. I kind of went with the flow of it. And eventually, I just told my other groups here, guys, let's not do it. Eventually, they're going to get rid of this. We got to get better at this. And really, you know, it, it doesn't help or, you know, it hurts us in skill-wise. Okay? So, eventually, my group started to stop doing it and all this other stuff here. Now, that is kind of more like a... While there's major lies and there's white lies, that's kind of more of the white lie. Now, when you're in a competitive situation and you have an exploit, it's ten times as worse because now you're affecting somebody else's game and now you're ruining somebody else's game because of something that you did. Okay? Now, you might be like, well, they can do it too. They know it. Oh, no. They, they should be able to... No. No, seriously. If it's not working as intended... You know, that's something that's an issue, and you know it's an issue. And you can't tell me that if you have something where you have enough AP to be in the top 10 listings, and you have it in there, you're not, you're not doing it fucking, you're not, you're not, you're not, like, in the unknown, you don't know that's not an exploit, okay? That's, mm, sorry, 
I, I'm getting tongue tied here because it pisses me off so goddamn much. But if you're in the top ten and you don't realize that what you're doing is an exploit, you're being freaking naive as fuck. Okay. You know it's an exploit. You know that you're getting AP from using this exploit, and that's fr that's freaking ridiculous. Okay, have some sportsmanship. Have some fucking balls. Okay. <laughs> Goddamn rats. <laughs> He's just getting in on the shot. But anyways, have some goddamn balls to get into PvP and have a challenge with a fight, okay? And I'm also looking at other people doing other bullshit like this, too. Like, we have some builds out there which I know are probably doing something that's a little bit shady and not being reported. You know, really, if you, if you know something's broken... Fucking report it and stop using it for crying out loud. I don't know how many times this has to go through, like, you know, five or six different forum posts saying that, oh, look, so-and-so is doing this today and, you know, here's a video for it. And then Zoss comes back and like, well, we can't see it because we can't see that person's video. Like, if you know something's broken, fucking report it for crying out loud and don't fucking use it against other players ad nauseum just so you can get your fucking AP up. And... To go back to another thing as well, the whole policy with unbanning the previous cheaters and all this other stuff there. Okay, I'm on the fence on this. I probably would have left them perma banned in certain cases there, but there, there's something with that as well that you have to realize with most companies that... Most companies, most game companies, I know, even with using Cheat Engine, even with using X third-party cheats, okay, very few game companies will outright ban somebody permanently in a game that is either subscription-based or you know pay-based. If it's a it's a pay, if it's a free-to-play, yeah, they will absolutely just perma ban somebody and expect them to come back in, okay. But with the people that are using Cheat Engine, I was expecting them to get unbanned because almost. Every game that I've played, they will have it so that if it's your first time offense, you get a warning or a slight ban. Second time offense, you may get another temporary ban. And then third ban, that's usually the permanent ban, okay? So with some of these people that are coming back after they use Cheat Engine just once, I know some people are crying for blood. They want to get them out of the system. But I guarantee, well, here's what happened. They called up Zoss. They're saying, hey, look, look at my record here. I've only done this once. I have nothing else on my record. Can you please unban me, please? And then the Zoss employee, of course, takes a look at the manual and says, first time offense, do they seem apologetic? Yeah. Do they have their stuff? You know, are they doing their stuff? Yeah. Oh, okay. Unban them. Check. And then they put it on their record. So the next time they find out that they did, now they're going to get banned. And they're probably going to get banned permanently. But... You know, whatever. Now, this kind of ties into the whole exploiting thing as well, because certain people have been t saying that they've been um, banned post, or sorry, ad hominem, or man, nah, sorry, we're doing this late at night, so I'm kind of bleh, right now with my words, but um, they said they they were getting banned for something they did previously before the warning came out. Okay, well. Two things with this. Again, one, you knew it was an exploit, and you fucking you abused it anyways. And you probably abused it to several million AP, okay? So, honestly, I don't really have much sympathy for you. Secondly, you know, you, you say you got banned once, and it's a permanent ban for using the exploit, while other people are getting unbanned for using Cheat Engine. That sounds like bullshit to me. That smells like bullshit to me, okay? Um... I know Fengrus did a video on this, and he mentioned that some people were getting permanently banned for using, um, you know, rushing into keeps once. I think that Fengrus is maybe taking the word of his friends a little bit too earnestly and actually not asking enough questions. Because if it's DC, I, I really suspect, given the history that we've had with him, given the... Just given the poor, shitty attitude that a lot of them have, a lot of them probably called up Zoss... Like they said, and said, hey, fucking unban me. I didn't know this shit was fucking illegal, blah, blah, blah. Why don't you get me out of your game, blah, blah, blah. And then got themselves permanently banned because they had a fucking shitty attitude. Seriously. That's that's probably what happened. Because I have friends as well that have been permanently banned. And how do they get banned? Well, they said, you know, duh, 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 to somebody in chat. Somebody reported him, got them banned. And then when he told the Zoss employee, oh yeah, unban me. And then when he told... He, the guy told him, well, you should be nicer in chat. He told him to fuck off. Well, 
I'm sorry. We, I really do miss you, Panda. But if you if you have somebody on support and you're telling them, please unban me, well, you got to be a little bit nice to people, okay? You can't just be, hey, fuck you, get me unbanned. That's not a way to do it, okay? And really, what this all comes back down to, the bigger issue, the bigger issue, like, not to Zoss, not to Zoss. Zoss, fix your shit, okay? But more to the community. Stop being so fucking negative. Stop being so fucking salty. Stop being so fucking toxic in PvP. Okay? Like, start being, like, take Bill and Ted. Be L excellent to each other, please. Like, we're here to play a game. We're here to have fun, aren't we? If you're having so much fucking bad times with this that you're going in and you're having to use exploits to win and you can't even have a bit of sportsmanship to your fellow player, why are you even playing? Why? Why? Because you could, you could you, so you can just like teabag some guy with your fucking e dick. No, I mean just get the fuck out. We don't want to fucking deal with you. Okay, I dealt with that shit in Warhammer Online. I dealt that shit in freaking EverQuest and some of the PvP they had. I mean seriously, this will come up over and over again. I realize, but as a community. Guys, let's just be fucking nice to each other once in a while. Have an agreement to be respectful enough to be not using exploits and cheats and other bullshit like that, you know? And if you see somebody on your own faction doing this shit, denounce them. Just be like, you know what? You're, you're rushing in up the walls there to do this shit to those guys. If I'm recording, I'm reporting you. I don't care what faction you are, okay? If I see it, I report it. And everyone else that is possibly recording it too, report it and send it into Zoss, please. Because they shouldn't be doing it. And if you if you need to, if you want to take a more softer approach, maybe send them a whisper. Be like, hey, if you're if you're if you're rushing up that keep wall, that is an exploit. You're not supposed to be doing it, okay? It's already been no notified to Zoss that you, if you do it, you're gonna get banned. Please stop doing it. Okay, and if they don't listen and they just tell you fuck off, well, take a take a screenshot of that and submit it too. You know, because honestly, if you can't get a good attitude inside PvP, at least a little bit to have some bit of respect, some bit of sportsmanship, just go play something else. Go play uh, I don't know. Go play Black Desert, please. I mean, one of the good things in this game is the community. One of the good things is that we have players that are that can at least converse with each other. I've talked to some EP players, I talk with some DC players, and you know, I have I can have a good time with a lot of them. But in general though, it just seems like the as the game ages, the toxicity seems to spread more and more from some of these players that just have been around and like or just come back with that toxicity. I know some of your names. Please, if if you're really if you're really changed, you've really wanted to come back and enjoy the game, maybe try to start having some fun with people instead of just telling them and you know, hey, you're fucking shit through tells. You know, we have another we have another series coming up for salty tells of Tamriel, which I have a lot of bad shit from other people here, which really it really emphasizes people need to calm the fuck down when they do a PvP and have some fun, like. Things might be buggy and broken, but we can at least have fun with it, right? We don't have to be freaking shit to each other and like, oh look, I can charge up the wall with my emperor ship and then freaking wreck all your shit and then take every keep and then camp you at the fucking gate. No, we don't have to do that. I mean, unless you have nothing better to do and you're just a, f <laughs> you know, you just need to get your jollies off by telling everyone, hey, I had more time on the internet to do this shit than anyone else. Now I get to have people that sit at the gate there and watch me as I parade around. Okay, whatever. Maybe we'll go to a different campaign or something else like that. But seriously, guys. Cheating and exploiting is bad. Don't do it. But more importantly, stop with the freaking... Stop with the behavior that, hey, I have to do whatever it takes by any means necessary to beat the other guy. You don't have to. Not at all. You can get along with other people. You can do shit with other people in the other factions. You can agree that, hey, I, I gap closers are kind of broken right now. I'm not going to do up a new keep wall. You know? Stuff like that. If, if you do it, I will. And we can have agreement. Other people will fucking do their bullshit the other time there. But, you know, who cares? Fuck them. Okay? Anyways, 
Hero of None here just signing, signing on to say stop the fucking exploiting and stop being so goddamn toxic, please. Okay? Have a good one. Meow, meow, meow. <laughs>